So once we notify law enforcement that this is in fact Jet Hall's vehicle, it's then a crime scene. Crime scene tape goes up and then it's a really huge recovery effort. From the uh, looks of the plate, it looks like it has been there a while. It wasn't just a recent thing. Oh no, it's, it's been down there a while. They gotta bring in a rotator crane tow truck. I went down. We have the windshield and the rear window are out of the vehicle. The front bumper is off. I'm checking the wheels to make sure the structural integrity of them is intact. That way we can do a safe, secure, methodical recovery. This is his vehicle. We're hoping that he's not there too. <sighs> We're hoping that he took his bags out and let the clutch out and let it roll into the river and uh, caught a ride with somebody else. At that point, Doug made his way down the hillside and then he physically put his hand on to identify and make 100% confirmation that we do have human remains. Is that what I think right there, Doug? Yes. Yeah. We have confirmation of remains. Doug just came up, he told me there are remains inside there, damn it. So, I mean, at this point, obviously, we're gonna assume the worst. Mm -hmm. I just wanted to warn you guys, because they are gonna kind of drag They're gonna put it right there, yeah. yeah. So, you know, that's, so. Okay. I'm sorry. Very, very, very unexpected. Very unexpected. Bill's gonna fall over. Why are we gonna bury him? Mom and Dad. Well, you had so much to live for. I can't even imagine um, what had to be going through your mind to take me through that moment. I was still a little bit in denial. Maybe, maybe, maybe it's not him. When did it hit you, the reality that it was him? I knew as soon as they said that there were remains, it, it had to be him. Yeah, I heard frustration in your voice when you said you had so much to live for. He did. Yeah. He was a straight A student. He was a popular kid, not crazy popular, but virtually everybody in the school he went to knew him. He helped tutor other kids. He was in the Civil Air Patrol. He played soccer. He was good at practically everything he did. Um, Still can't explain it. After he left, um, the Civil Air Patrol informed me that he had already achieved a, another rank. And since they only do the ceremonies twice a year, um, I showed up at the next one with his uniform, and they pinned his next rank onto the uniform in the hopes that he would be back to fill that suit soon. I'm so very sorry for your loss. Thank you. It's just terrible. And Jared, you wanted to say something to Amy. I have guilt. Working with you has been the most difficult out of all the families I've ever worked with because as a mom, you never gave up hope. And I feel like even four and a half years later, we were there, like, you know, as you had mentioned, you were there to humor us that day, not expecting anything. And for me, that's been weighing on me that I took that day I took all hope away from you and I'm so sorry for, I'm sorry for to be the one to have brought that news to you that day. It was a terrible day, but it was not as bad as the day he left. This at least gave me some answers. We, we have not spoken, you know, since that day. Correct. And I've always wondered like, are you mad at us? <laughs> no. <laughs> It does make me feel a lot better that, you know, you're not holding I'm not course. going to be mad at the messenger. Okay. <laughs> I'm mad as hell at my kid. Right. <laughs> Do you have a story or a question for me? Click the link in the description and tell me what in the world is going on.